Hello students, today we're going to solve problems with rational numbers using order of operations. So first, let's remember order of operations stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And remember, we keep multiplication and division and addition and subtraction on the same level because they are treated equally. Uh, and we solve them left to right, which is why I like to put those arrows down there. So let's start by looking at an example problem. Let's say we have 2, and then in parentheses we have negative 7 plus negative 0.5 divided by 5. So if we're looking at this expression, we need to follow PEMDAS. The first thing we need to do is follow order of operations. P, parentheses, we gotta solve what's inside the parentheses first. Now, when we're looking with our rational numbers using these negatives, we have to keep in mind the rules of negative and positive numbers. So I'm just gonna bring this down here. We have negative seven plus negative 0.5. So when we have a negative plus a negative, we keep those negative signs. So this is really negative 7.5. But I still have these other numbers. So I've solved what's inside the parentheses. I'm going to bring down the rest of my equation here. And now I can continue to solve. Now this is when it's useful to keep that arrow for multiplication and division to say left to right solving. Because when I look at this problem now, I know that my coefficient of two secretly means to multiply by what's inside the parentheses here. So this is a multiplication operation. And then here we have a division operation. Well, I need to do, uh, I need to solve this from left to right in this order. So I'm going to take this part first. So really I have 7.5 times 2. This is a negative 7.5 times 2, which if we do our math, it will add up to 15. But we have to keep the negative symbol. A negative times a positive is still a negative. So we've solved that, and my answer is negative 15 and now I can divide by five. So I'm finishing that left to right procedure. Negative 15 divided by five, well I know five goes into 15 three times, and I keep the negative. So my answer would be negative three. All right, let's look at another example. So here I have some fractions. I'm still gonna keep my PEMDAS off to the side to help me remember how to solve. So first thing is got to take care of parentheses. The first parentheses that I see is right here, adding of these fractions, and I see another parentheses over here. They're being multiplied together, so I can treat these separately as long as I solve them before I multiply. So let's start with this first one. One-fourth plus three-eighths. Well, remember, when we add fractions, we need common denominators. Now this is nice and handy because eight is a multiple of four. So in order to have a common denominator here, I'm gonna multiply four by two, two, and, uh, to get eight, and one by two to get two. So now I'm gonna bring this down. So one times two is two, four times two is eight, and now I can add these. So I'm gonna end up with my first parentheses is gonna be five eighths. But remember, I still have the rest of my problem up here to solve. So now let's look at the, the second set of parentheses. And this parentheses has an exponents. Now, this is really saying uh, when anything is squared, it is multiplied by itself. So this is really negative one half times negative one half. So I need to think of it as multiplying the inside value by itself. Here we go. So uh, when we multiply fractions, remember we multiply straight across. Let's get that in a different color multiply straight across. So negative one times negative one, negative times a negative is a positive. Negative two 
times negative 2 will give me positive 4. So now I've solved what's inside the second parentheses here. This is now 1 fourth because a negative times a negative is a positive. And I'm still multiplying these two, uh, two parentheses together. So I'm going to bring down my multiplication symbol and now I'm going to bring down my second parentheses. And now again, remember, when we multiply, we multiply straight across. So here, I'm going to have 5 as my numerator. And on my denominator, I'm going to have 32. And I can't really reduce that at all, so that is going to be my final answer. Okay, let's try one more problem. This time we're looking at decimals. Um, so again... Keep PEMDAS in mind, and there are my arrows. All right, so when I look at this equation, I see a couple things. I see one set of parentheses and another set of parentheses. I also see an exponent um, being applied to the parentheses, just like in the previous problem. So let's start dealing with my parentheses. This one, 11 minus 8, I can do really quickly. It's going to give me 3. Um, and over here, just like in the, the previous one, what, when this uh, exponent is applied inside the parentheses, you have to treat the inside value as being multiplied by itself. So I really have negative 0.3 times negative 0.3. That's, that's just applying the, the exponent to the parentheses. So let me bring down my multiplication and, and the rest of my problem. Okay, so here would be the second line of my problem. And now um, 0.3 times 0.3, let's do this off to the side so we can remember how we multiply decimals. All right, okay, here we go. So we, we don't need to line up our decimals when we multiply. We just go ahead and multiply. So 3 times 3 is, is 9, um, and that's, that's pretty much all we need to do right now, except we need to count our place values. So here I, my 3 is one place value to the left, and here the same thing. The decimal is one place value to the left. So in my answer, I need to add these together to get two place values to the left, and that's where I'm going to put my decimal point. You guys remember how to do this? So really, when I multiply 3 tenths times 3 tenths, I get 9 hundredths, okay? Don't forget that, 9 hundredths. So this has become... Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, too, this is a negative times a negative, and we know a negative times a negative is a positive. So this whole value is now um, 9 hundredths, and I didn't write that correctly. Let me do that again. 9 hundredths. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to bring down everything that I've done prior. Okay. Now, it's important to bring things down so that we can keep track of order of operations. So we've taken care of parentheses. We took care of the exponents. Now, we're left to multiply, divide, add, or subtract. And notice, we only have multiplication and division left. And when we only have multiplication and division left, we treat them like they're on the same level, and we multiply or divide in whatever they order they come in from left to right. So here I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do the division first, which is going to be 3 uh, divided by 9 tenths. So bring up my decimal 3 goes into 9, well, 3 times. And that's pretty easy. No remainder. So my answer here is going to be um, 0 0.3 and then it's going to be multiplied by uh, let me bring down this side. It's going to be multiplied by nine uh, hundredths. So again, off to the side, let's kind of set up this equation. 0 0.09 multiplied by 0 0.03. Oops, I wrote that wrong again. Let me fix that. 0 0.3 is what I should have written. 0 0.3. And remember, we, we ignore the decimal when we start. So 3 times 9 is... 27, um, and that's pretty much the only math we need to do, except we need to count up our place values. So here the decimal is one, two place values to the left, and in, in the second row, it's one place value to the left. So I need to, this is a total of three 
place values to the left, if I added them all up, that's where I put my decimal point. And now I can add any, any zeros that I need to. So my final answer to this equation is going to be, and let me write it right here, it's going to be um, 27 thousandths, 27 thousandths as a decimal. So here are some quick reminders and review. Um, when we're solving, write down each line of the equation. Don't forget to bring down the information that you started with for each step. It's really important to keep track. PEMDAS is essentially the same. You just need to apply the rules of positive and negative integers. And exponents are applied to inside the parentheses. When you ever see an exponent um, outside of the parentheses, it's applied to the value inside the parentheses. And remember, a negative times a negative is a positive.